In this video, I'm going to show you how to install IntelliJ ID and uh, how to properly configure it and how to create your first project. So uh, let's uh, download it first. So let's um, go to the Google and say IntelliJ ID. Download. And here, uh, let's click to the first link. And uh, on the download page, you have uh, two options. First one is ultimate and second is community. So for our purpose, um, community is more than enough and we can just download it. Because it's for free uh, ultimate version, it's you, you pretty much need to pay for it. Okay, so installation is standard, so you just next, 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 next buttons, and that's it. Uh, so after you will install it, you will see uh, it. And because I have like multiple projects uh, there, here it's list all of them, but um, in, in this case, we will need to create a new one. So we can just click create a new project. Uh, check the Gradle Java one. Let's go next. Uh, group ID gonna be uh, let's create like com uh, test pro artifact ID. It's gonna be you can just name it as a test pro. That's fine. So let's go next. Uh, because this is a Gradle project, let's see, uh, enable use auto import. So we won't need to import uh, all. Uh, packages and libraries that we're gonna add, uh, so it's gonna do it uh, automatically. All right, so let's uh, use the Java version. You can like see what the version are listed here, and uh, let's go next. Uh, so here it's gonna ask you like wh where you're gonna store your project. So in our case, I would recommend you actually store it where we. Um, just clone it our um, repository and I believe it was a Java practice this one so let's open it here let's finish the project and now um, after installation what we're gonna see here um, so we're gonna see our project and we're gonna see our build Gradle file. So here uh, it has all the dependencies that we're gonna add more um, and more after we start to work with that. And uh, yeah, so our code is gonna be remain in the test folder under the, under the Java file. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.